Okay, so I'm going to make a card for um, Cat Scrappiness, and we were, um, the design team was um, sent a challenge this month, and our challenge was to use um, the ingredients that Cat sent us, and the ingredients were a piece of the PAL glitter paper, and a strip of the um, gold AC glitter tape, and some felt mustaches that Kat sent. So we just have to make a project using all of the items. And so I'm making a card today, and this is a, car a Father's Day card. And um, of course, the mustaches are pretty masculine, so this is going to be. Um, I mean, I know that mustaches are really popular right now, and well, they have been for a while, but um, my father in law. My my father passed away when I was three, so I don't have any memory of him. And um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sad that I grew up without a father, but I don't have a, um, you know, my, I, I let me put it this way: I'm very thankful that I have a wonderful father-in-law, and um, he's been in my life for over 26 years, and so he's my dad. So um, when I was when we were growing up with him, he had a mustache looked very similar to this. I don't think it had the curls coming up, but he had a full fledged black mustache for a very long time, and so um, this was perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My card size is a five by seven card, and the only reason that I chose this card size was because if you watched my last video, I got some of the card and envelopes from Michaels um, that were. Actually, they were envelopes, but the cards were postcards. They weren't actually open, you know, fold-out cards. So um, I thought I would utilize the envelopes at least. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've inked the edges, and I have some cork um, paper from Michaels that I purchased. And the cool thing about it is it, it is adhesive, which is awesome. And I went ahead and I cut this down to size ahead of time. And I'm going to stand up because a lot of times I cannot get things centered when I am sitting. And this stuff feels really, really sticky. So I want to make sure that I get it as centered as possible, which I don't think it's completely 100%, but that's okay. Okay, that sticks really, really well. Okay, um, the papers are the embellishments that I'm using today besides the ones that Kat sent me are from the Echo Park This and That collection. And those are, as we all know, fairly old. But I always go back to that when I am working with um, a masculine type feel. And so um, I still have quite a bit of it left. Just a little bit of washi. I don't guess it'll hurt anything. Okay, so because of the glitter paper, it doesn't come off, but I'm really not certain how glue will stick to it. I've never really worked with the glitter paper before. Um, so I'm just going to use some of the Scotch Quick Dry just to ensure that we get a good stick on this paper. And this is, I'll show you this in just a second. This is um, a cutout from one of the sheets. Well, I'm getting ink all over me already. It's a cutout from one of the sheets. And um, what I did, um, the actual piece of paper had a bunch of different, you know, telegram, old telegrams and tickets and stuff like that. And I actually wrote on here in pencil to make it look like a grayed out, you know, pen. Um, and filled it out in his name and everything like it was an old telegram that we were sending. But um, you'll see in the end that I'm going to put a title over the top of it. So that's, you know, you can kind of see it in the background, but you can't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. And this is, um, I've, I can't remember if this, I'm probably sitting here picking at this, if the glitter tape, I guess it is tape, so... I have issues getting this stuff up. I should get one of my tools, but there we go. I got it. Okay. So, and 
I know I've got to get started working on my Mother's Day card too. I'm pretty sure Mother's Day is coming first, but because we had this challenge, I wanted to go ahead and utilize this and get this card out of the way. So it came at a really good time. Okay. So got that down. And then I'm not sure how things are going to stick to the cork either, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and continue on with the the scotch. And I'm only going to glue the top half of it right now because I'm going to tuck something underneath it. And the stuff dries pretty darn quick. Push this up just a little bit. It's so quick that I've already got it down and I, it won't, I probably, okay, I'm rambling. And I've got this little border strip from the same Echo Park, this and that collection. And I think I'll just ink these up just a teeny bit. Okay. And I think what I want to do is Tuck it right yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll tuck it right up underneath here. And and I think I'll just run a little bit of glue up here at the top to stick it to that too. Okay. Okay. And I didn't think about it. I had something to tuck over here too. And I'm hoping that my glue is not set up yet because and one thing I did want to do with this and I didn't think about it but maybe I still have time before that glue sets in to kind of distress this a little bit. It's been, um, today is Sunday and we've had some serious thunderstorms here in Georgia. Um, last night we had some really bad ones and our power went out sometime during the night and I overslept. Well, there's no way you can ever sleep on a weekend unless you actually have plans, but um, I actually kind of slept in this morning, which was nice, but um, the thunder was so bad last night that it kept waking my dog Bentley up and he was like shaking the poor little fella. I felt so bad for him. And um, But it's still raining. It's a very dreary day. I'm trying to decide. I know I'm going to use the mustache up here. I'm going to go ahead and get this um, on here real quick. And there we go. But um, this has been one of those days where you just want to stay in your pajamas, although I did manage to put on some regular clothes this morning. Although I probably could have stayed in my jammies all day and been fine. Oops. I've got all kind of different um, elements going on here with the glitter and the cork and the felt. I'm curious to see if the uh, scotch is going to hold up on everything, all the different um, textures. Okay, so I have I had a brad here that I was going to use on here, but I think that's just a little bit too much. But I was thinking about maybe, I don't want to overdo this, but I was thinking about maybe, I you know what, let me hold off on that. I need to put the title on and then look at it. And my title is just cut cut with my silhouette. And I um here we go. Um my father in law, he is known to all the grandchildren as Pops. And so as kids we've started calling him Pops now, so he is now known as that. Um, every once in a while, I might call him Dad, but for the most part, he is Pops to us. Okay, get this off. I ran this through my little Xyron sticker maker, and I'm so glad because this, these letters are really tiny, and I'm not sure if I would have been able to um, be patient enough to glue these all down. Okay, 
So there's my title. And so now is oh, I kind of like it. So it's going to go on, and I think I'm going to ink the edges to distress it just a tad bit. And I probably could use, but that might be too much. Let me look and see. Yeah, I think I'll leave that off and just use the, um, there was a pop dot that came on it, but it's lost its stickiness. And, um, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and use that pop dot for the, and go ahead and use my glue. So there we go. And so what I'll do is I'll just take the inside of it and I'll probably put just another piece of paper on the inside to give me a place to write. And so there's my card and this is for Cat Scrappiness Design Team Challenge for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed making a card with me and we'll talk to you later. Bye.